Workflow, uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of all of the different modes uh, and what the dip switch settings do on the circuit board. Um, they're labelled 45 or 60 flashes a minute, they're approximate. Uh, the second switch is labelled either 2 or 4 flashes and the third switch is labelled chase or alternate. Um, they become fairly self-explanatory when you get going. Uh, so if I turn on That would be the wigwag mode, and that would be where the fourth switch comes in, which I don't have labelled, but that would be just a plain old ordinary wigwag mode. If I flick that one on, you can see the effect. So if you're not building a wigwag, that's fine, but there you go, hidden switch in there. So for normal strobe mode, so I've got an extender board here representing the left uh, wing, right wing and the tail. So if I flick the four switches on, certainly racing around, again it looks a little bit difficult to see on uh, on the board, but uh, the different flash patterns are going to show up differently on the plane. It's up to you as to which one you'd like. And if I put on four flashes there, self explanatory, and again, slightly slower. It's up to you to decide whether or not they meet the flash criteria for visibility and amount of flashes seen from every angle per minute and the other one is chase or alternate so you can see how with these rather than chasing in a pattern the wings uh, alternate first and then the tail flashes and you could speed that up theoretically as well and that would probably be um, more adequate. I hope that makes sense.